forward and future contracts are financial instruments that allow market participants to offset or assume the risk of a price change in an asset. A futures contract is distinct from a forward contract in two significant ways. Futures contracts is legally binding agreement to buy or sell a standardized asset on a specific date or a specific month. Secondly, it's facilitated on a futures exchange such as CME, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, or ICE, Intercontinental Exchange. Future contracts fall into the category of ETDs, which is short for Exchange Traded Derivatives, and forward contracts falls into the category of OTCs, which is short for Over-the-Counter Products, meaning that they are traded without an exchange. The exchange has two separate entities. So for instance, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, and Chicago Mercantile's Exchange Clearing. And likewise, we have ICE Intercontinental Exchange and ICE Clear Europe. If we start by focusing on the exchange part, the exchange establishes a visible market setting for the trading of futures, meaning they are providing and operating the facilities for trading, establishing, monitoring and enforcing the rules for trading, and maintaining and decimating the data. They are also responsible for standardizing the contracts. If we then focus on the clearing part, a clearing house is an intermediary between buyers and sellers. It is separated from the exchange and is responsible for setting trading accounts, clearing trades, collecting and maintaining margins, regulating delivery and reporting trading data. The clearing house acts as a buyer to every seller and as a seller to every buyer. This has the advantage of lowering the counterparty exposure, since the seller no longer have to fear if the buyer can fulfill his obligation and the buyer no longer have to fear if the seller can fulfill his obligation, since the clearinghouse is acting as a seller to every buyer and as a buyer to every seller. Futures can further be divided into two categories one which is physically settled and one which is cash settled. If you have bought a future with physical delivery, that means that you will be receiving the underlying. So for instance, if you have bought an oil future, that means that you will be receiving oil. Or if you have bought a soybean future, you will receive soybeans or electricity or gold, you name it. On the other hand, if you have bought a cash settled future, then you will just receive the cash difference. So either you will have to pay or you will have to receive cash, depending on if the product has gone up or down in value. When it comes to physical delivery, we can actually take it one step further and introducing the concept of cheapest to deliver, also known as CTD. So for instance, if you have bought a future on a mortgage bond, if it has CTD written on it, then you can just deliver a similar mortgage bond. On the other hand, if it has not CTD written on it, then it has to be a mortgage bond from that specific series that you have to deliver. So the future price will vary drastically depending on which type you have actually bought. So now you know what a future is and a couple of examples for where it can be traded. I have also included this abbreviation list just to sum it up since I know there's a lot to remember here. And of course, I will include a link in the description to CME, just so you can go and see some of the different futures which are actually out there. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you next time, bye.